So today is the 10th and everyone finally has access to Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, I will be giving you the best tips you need to know to maximize the early part of the game. Because there are a lot of tips out right now for Hogwarts Legacy, but most of them you cannot do until later on. So the first tip is to make sure you focus on the main storyline. Look, I know you want to go out and explore Hogwarts and maybe even do some adventuring outside. Like I'm not stopping you, but do you want a new spell because you're tired of using Accio? Storyline. Do you want a broomstick because you're tired of running from Hogwarts to a random destination? storyline do you want to be able to access the rumor requirement so you can make potions or collect magical beasts storyline i know it kind of sucks but just keep playing the storyline until you reach the next chapter and acquired everything you need before adventuring look i'm 13 hours into the game and i finally have everything i need to start adventuring and doing side quests without feeling limited and the second tip is the best way to get money early on. The biggest chunk of cash you can get early on are from these eyeball chests. These chests are littered throughout Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and everywhere else. When you open these chests, it'll give you 500 galleons or gold. The issue is you cannot open these chests until you unlock a certain spell. The spell is disillusionment. To unlock this spell, you got it. Storyline. But likely you unlock the spell relatively early in the storyline with Sebastian. But the issue with this method of collecting galleons is that these chests do not refresh. So it's a nice bumping cash, but nothing to sustain you in the early game. The best method while in the first chapter is selling every item you have to shopkeeps. There seems to be almost an unlimited supply of items and you might even find yourself destroying items due to running out of storage. But try not to destroy these items and get some delicious galleons for it instead. Also, gear stats does change based on your level, so don't feel bad for selling some legendary items as you might find stronger common gear type items in the future. Quick bonus tip is to make sure you guys save up at least 600 galleons. This way you can't afford a broom once you finish the broom story quest. You might also want to save a little bit more if you are trying to quickly get through Professor Sharp's side assignments for extra spells. Really quick, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, do me a favor, drop a like on this video. It helps me out a whole bunch and it's totally free. But let's go to the third tip, which is the easiest, but makes a big difference. It is to switch your camera acceleration from zero and max out your camera sensitivity to two. This helps smooth out your controls and will make the game feel a lot nicer. The fourth and last tip is to make sure you always have three different types of spells in your spell sheet. So the three are control, which is yellow, force, which is purple, and damage, which is red. You need one of these three to break enemy shields based on their shield colors. So don't get caught getting greedy with all damage spells and your main enemy having a control shield on. For my early game progression, the spells I like to use were Accio, Incendo, Levioso, and Disillusionment. These are the basic spells you need to progress throughout the early storyline. Later on in the game, you will have the ability to get multiple spell sheets using talent points, but you would not be able to for most of the early game. And with that, you have the most important tips you need to know for the early stages of Hogwarts Legacy. If you're curious on what the types of wands are, check out this video at the end. And if you learn anything, a like will be greatly appreciated. Comment down below what you're most excited for and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy videos. It's your belief. Peace.